Hello and welcome to Wisdom Bites. Hope you're well. Thank you once again for joining us. Very much appreciated. Another quick update exactly what's happening with Bitcoin. Judging by all the comments that I'm getting, you're really enjoying these smaller but more frequent updates throughout the week. So thank you very much indeed for the feedback for that. And the best way you can tell me that you're really enjoying these updates is to actually hit the like button and actually subscribe. I've noticed in my YouTube studio that around about 30 to 40 percent of people who actually watch my videos are not subscribed so I don't know what you're waiting for but by subscribing you'll get the latest information from the notification and it also tells me that this is the kind of stuff you want so please do give me that feedback and if you haven't subscribed so all you have to do is click the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you get all the notifications as soon as I do a video and then you'll get the latest information of an update for that day. But before I begin, the usual disclaimer, please remember everything in my videos is only for educational purposes only. I'm just giving you my perspective. I'm not a financial advisor. I don't have a crystal ball. So please do your wider research before making any investment decisions. So with that out of the way, I'm going to start off on the daily chart. And in the last video, what I said to you was that we needed to see a sign of a reversal in terms of price action or candlestick pattern. And therefore, it would be crazy to be buying a falling knife that was happening here. So the price was around about 34,000 in the last video. And I showed you this chart, if we zoom out, that since 69,000 on our journey down to these levels here, what we've had is a series of relief rallies as the price has been coming down. And if you were to buy at any of these dips here, it would have been obviously a wrong thing to do. And I said that I was expecting a relief rally any time here to move all the way up to around about the 38, 39, $40,000 mark here before the market does this. Because this is the level which I think is the sensible level for the market to find a bottom. Obviously, we didn't get there yet, and we've turned around from the 32,900 level here. So I showed you the volume candle that we were in the beginning of a capitulation taking place here, but it didn't materialize because I would have expected more of these candles to bring the price from here down to the $30,000 mark before we got a turnaround to the upside. So obviously, we didn't get the proper capitulation, a little bit of the capitulation, but not as much as you would expect for a bottoming out and a flushing out of all the sellers. So currently, this is where we are. So let's have a quick look at exactly what's happened here and why this is reversed and giving us a quick relief rally here. So as we were coming down here in this downtrend, there was no knowing where we were going to stop except to have a look at some of the candlestick patterns and the price action to tell us that we've now bottomed out, if, if only temporarily. So when we got to these levels here at the $33,000 mark, what we were looking for was a sign. And we got that with this candle, this candle here. Now, some of you may know this, but this is what we call an inside bar candle. And the significance of this is that the whole of the price range of this candle encapsulates all of the price action of the previous candle, and in this case, the previous two candles. And what that means in layman's terms is that when the price was falling drastically down here, then this came to the rescue of that decline because it was at this point that the momentum of this fall was arrested by this candle here, which is basically telling you with this long wick at the bottom, it acts like a trampoline. So the price has gone down to these levels, and at these points, the bulls have actually taken over and pushed the price very quickly to these levels here. And we're closing at this point was around about the $36,700 mark. So that was the first sign that this fall, this decline, this downtrend was now coming to an end by doing this, a sign of a reversal by the actions taken in this candle here. As technical analysts, you're always looking for confluence. And we got that confluence duly by the Bollinger Bands. So I only use the Bollinger Bands to identify that when we see a candle like this, is it at the bottom, i.e. this blue line here, 
and the, the top line blue line here. This is the range of the Bollinger Bands here on the daily chart. So if this candle at the bottom of this trend comes at the lower end of the Bollinger Bands, that is confluence to say to me that more than likely that not only is the downtrend being declined here and being reversed, but it's come at the lower end of the Bollinger Bands. Because if you look at the Bollinger Bands, you'll notice one thing, that when we get to the bottom of them, they tend to go inside the Bollinger Band or even at the top. So if they're at the bottom here, they'll go to the top there. At the bottom here, to the top, to the bottom, etc. So they tend to be used as really overbought and oversold areas. So this candle is like a trampoline that creates the momentum to go back up. So basically what we've got is this happening. So the momentum shift here is now to the upside. So currently we've got this relief rally ongoing. And the question now is how far will this relief rally go up to? And this is where we employ the exponential moving averages. And the ones that I mentioned in the past are the Fibonacci level exponential moving averages, which is your 8, your 21 and the 34. So currently this relief rally is going all the way to this 8 exponential moving average on the daily chart. So that's telling me that there is a good probability that the relief rally could quite easily come back from these levels. And the reason why I would say that, I'm not saying it's going to happen, but it is a good sign because if you look back in this daily chart, you'll notice one thing. If we take out the 21 and the 34 for the time being, then the 8 exponential moving average has actually been the places where the price action along this downtrend has been more than many times been rejected. Look how many times it's been rejected at this level here at the 8. And currently we're here. So, so this experience on this downtrend tells us that this is a very good point at which we could get rejected at the 38,000. Currently, that's where it's at. And we've got to 38,000. Now, is it going to go down? Well, if we put the 21 exponential moving average on this now, this gives us that bit more information that, look, when we do get above the 8, then we're rejected by the 21. And here again. And once again here, the last time we came up to the 21 was with this candle here at 43,000 before we started this big cascade down. So certainly the 21, which is currently at 40,500, but as the price moves up, the downtrend of this is still going to push the 21 further down. So it could be that we come up to the 40,000, by which time the 21 will have been around that level in the next day or two. So it is a possibility that we get to the 21 at around about the 3940 level before we have a next leg down to the downside. And finally, if we add the white line here, which is the 34 exponential moving average, again, when the price has gone above the 8, the 21, then the 34 comes into play. And this is where it got rejected there. So these three averages are absolute key to knowing when the trend has actually properly reversed to the upside. So I wouldn't be confident that we've now made a, a flip over to the bullish side until we get above this white line. So as you can see, we got rejected here, there as well as we saw before. And so this level currently is at 42,500. So again, it's moving down very fast. So hopefully somewhere along the line, when this comes down, once we get above this white line, the 34 exponential moving average on the daily chart, that will be a very good sign that with a higher degree of probability, this, this downtrend that we've had over the last few months has finally turned the corner for us to take the direction to the upside. The other average always to look out for is the 50 simple moving average on the daily chart again. And this is currently at 44,900, so about 45,000. This is another confirmation that the trend that we had here has actually finally reversed to the upside. Having said that, while these moving averages are extremely important, what's more important than even the moving averages are these levels that I've mapped out here. 
because these are your critical key levels on the way down and on the way up. So as we were coming down, we established these levels here, this white range here that we've got, and that's at between 45 and 46. So please put these on your charts because when we come up here, these are going to be your points to take profits and then bounce back from the next key level, which is here at 42,300, which is really because of this wick here. It got massively supported at this point before it shot up. And because of that, we know that this is going to be a key level. So on the way up, these are the key levels, 40,000 here. So I'm expecting that if we do get this relief rally to go all the way up to the 40, with a higher degree of probability, this would be a great point to short the market. However, if it doesn't fall back from here and it goes back up and falls back to the 40 to find support and then goes up, then we basically flip over and buy back at this point because then the chances are, or the higher degree of probability is that we're going to go to the next level, which is that 42,300, as we've just mentioned here. So these are the levels to play on the way up. So the main levels that have been actually established here are the 40,000, the 30,000, and then once we break that range, it's at 42 and a half, and then 45 and a half to 46,000. And any confluence at these levels, in terms of the moving averages, or the Fibonacci levels, etc., etc., any confluence will add to the weight of the probability of the price being either rejected or supported at these levels. One thing I do like doing is that when you look at the higher time frames, like the daily chart, if you look inside the candle, i.e., on a lower time frame to give you some idea of what's happening in this candle here. So let's go to the four hour chart because there is something brewing there. So at four o'clock this morning, this candle here, when I looked at this, this gave me a lot of information that this relief rally that we've just had here may be with a higher degree of probability going to be coming to an end. It's giving us a clue that we may be topping out because just like I said that when there's a wick at the bottom of a trend where the price is being bought up aggressively, the reverse is true at the top of a trend where there's a long wick at the top where actually the bears are taking over and they're pushing the price all the way down to the levels where that candle started off. Now it doesn't always play out, but in my experience, this kind of a candle with a long wick at the top is telling you that we're about to reverse from here. So it does look to me as though we have topped out in this relief rally and we may be wanting to come back down to the downside. But what we've got to look out for to negate that would be to look out for the top of this wick here. If we can get the price on the four hour chart to close above this wick of this gravestone doji here, if we can do that, then it will negate the implications of this candle and then we're good to go towards the 40,000. And if we break with the four hour candle below the wick of this candle here, then that is the end of this rally as far as I can see. And we're more than likely, with a higher degree of probability, going to be coming back down to retest these levels here at 32.33. So look out for that, very important. This candle is giving you a lot of information. So if we break above the top of the wick of this candle, then we have a higher degree of probability to go to the 40,000. But if we break below the wick of this candle, the chances are we're going to come and retest the 3233 and more than likely going to then find support at the 30,000. Having said that, if you look left, we did have this type of a candle here. And while this is a reversal candle to go down, it actually went up. So like I say with markets, there are no certainties, there's no guarantees and as intelligent investors with emotional intelligence, what we have to do is we have to be ready for all possibilities and keep neutral in your insight into the market and don't get sucked into what your own biases are. So look at these candles and say, OK, there's no guarantee it's going to go up. There's no guarantee it's going to go down. But with a higher degree of probability, because of this candles information that you're getting, 
is more likely to go up or is more likely to go down. So that's how to read into the charts. And in between my videos, I do leave some comments here to tell you exactly what my thoughts are. And if you haven't already gone to my Twitter page, which I'll leave with a link in the description box below, then please do have a check in between my videos because I do leave some of these ideas here. Like for instance, in the last video, I said that we should start to dollar cost average in around about the 33 to $30,000 mark. Now the price went down to 32,000. So this is what was happening when the price was falling and when it went down to the 32,900, that was a good point to be just nibbling into the market. So it's a good way of actually in between my videos to keeping abreast of the current developments. Okay, so we'll leave it there. Let's see what happens. Does the relief rally come to the end at 38? But if we can manage to get above the eight exponential moving average, then we're more likely to go to 40,000. But that four hour candle, this one here is giving me nightmares at the moment and I'm keeping my eye on it. If we get above the top of the wick on this candle, then we're good to go to 40. If we break this level here at 37.1, we're gonna be going down. So that's what I'm really looking at for the next day or so. Well, I hope you enjoyed that update. And if you did, then please do remember to like and subscribe and to turn on the notification bell. And if you wanna leave any comments, questions or suggestions, then please leave them in the comments below. Until the next time, take care, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.